Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Marvel's Midnight Suns. Now we're in the abbey and I can't uh -oh. remember what we're supposed to do. Oh, uh, we know, need to analyze the new gamma coil and need to talk to Doctor Strange in the forge. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Okay. I'm gonna try not to get too sick this time. Oh, free gosh. Out. Cool. Yeah, she forced me to watch a movie last night. Okay, gamma coil, gamma coil. Go grab a gamma coil. It allows us to upgrade Hunter, cars. Just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony, and perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. Um, uh, let me just go to this first. Because we did have the gamma coil. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? Uh, analyze this, Tony? New abilities. Welcome, Hunter. Cool. Wild strike. Oh, new hunter ability. I'm pretty sure okay. Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state Wait, of what's matter. What's this again? Oh. Gain one vulnerable. Quick, quick strike. So I can use this to upgrade. So we own two of them. And this one, draw three cards until you have three in hand. Because we have to use the hunter, I feel like we should get this. I mean, that's twenty-four. Damage, that's pretty good. I'll grab this. Always a pleasure. I don't know, I, I think we always have to use the hunter in our deck. We'll see. I could be proven wrong. You gain a new combat ability for a hero. Uh, for a hero, open their hero screen to equip this new ability. The hero screen can be opened at any time in the Abbey with one. Okay. One. Equip and salvage. The police can be equipped or swapped with the cards already in a hero's combat deck. deck. Any unused ability should be salvaged for essence, which is required for upgrades, items, and more. Okay, so... Okay, knockback. Quick. I like the quick, just because it gives us the ability to just have another card. Not to play another card within the same turn. I'm not sure about heal. I don't really use heal as much. Let's edit deck. Heroes must have 8 abilities equipped to the combat decks. To equip a new ability, you must first unequip the ability you wish to replace. Unequip is E. So let's unequip this. Oh, maximum 4 attacks allowed. So in terms of in a battle of attrition, you, we can't use this as much. But let's give this a go. Gonna try everything, right? Hey. Uh, it says E to uh, equip. Uh, can I put this in? Show upgrade. Wait, that allows me to equip that. Oh, um, maximum. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, no, I misread. So maximum four attacks. So you can only have four of these. Sorry, I didn't. I thought this meant I could only use this four times. So I'll take out knockback then. Okay, I can put this in. Okay, cool, cool. Learning as I go, learning as I go. Now we need to talk to Mr. Doctor Strange or Doctor Spooky. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? 
Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. Could make another mistake like Ultron. Um, destroy. I want you to make something powerful. Sure, let's just do that. I hope the two just of keep you going with light powerful. option. I want to stop Lilith quickly and decisively. As I said, I'm sure it can help us. I just need to convince Tony to set his ego aside. His discomfort with the esoteric nature of the arcane might be a problem. But Tony's eccentricities aside, I know you can make this work. Right now, with the sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Step up to the anvil, Hunter. It doesn't bite. So I guess Dr. Spooky is the researcher and Tony is, I guess, also a researcher? How may the Sorcerer Supreme assist you? Studying artifacts unlocks more powerful research projects of the Forge and generates significant resources for use in ability upgrades and crafting. Okay. Uh, okay, select that. Study. Common artifact. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Provia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. Place is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. Artifact study complete. So certainly not useless. Okay, so we get a common artifact knife, and we get essence as rewards. So I don't get to use this as a weapon. Hold on, research level increase 1. Research. Research projects take one day to complete, but grant powerful rewards like room upgrades, combat items, and hero outfits. Okay, so this is what's available. Can I select all of them? Let's see, supernatural fabrication. Weaving magic and science is fine in theory, but in practice, well, there isn't much practice. However, if we work together, Tony and I might be able to fabricate some powerful... Some pretty powerful items to help you in combat. Rewards, item bench, forge schematic. Craft powerful single use combat items, okay. War games, Carol says we need to up our game to meet this new threat. As usual, she's right, but to do more in combat, we'll need to do more down here in the forge. A self-learning AI workstation running endless combat situations might help us make better use of this coil stuff. Okay. Boundary. Forge schematic, that's the reward. Increase ability options. And earn an additional ability when analyzing game. Oh, that's good. You get four cards, I guess. As a master of the way of the Fang, as a master of 13 different martial arts. And counting. Blade could teach the Midnight Suns a basic technique for knocking enemies back in combat, but even the greatest teachers need the right tools. Rewards a training. Dummies, shove, yard, schematic. 
Spend moves to knock back enemies. Oh, cool. Okay, so let's go with war games first. Start research. Start research. Return to the forge tomorrow. Okay, so you can study artifacts, you can do gamma coil mouse, so you can do research, okay? I don't know when tomorrow uh, arrives. Got a sec to spare? Um Okay. No. Wait, hold on. I don't know what time of day it is. Day? Wednesday? Okay. Wednesday, but you don't have the time. I guess it's not really real time. Strategy. Kind of. Robbie. You've been here more in the past few days than I have since ever. The forge is pretty badass. But the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good! How could you tell? You are not the first spirit of vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days... <clears throat> three centuries ago. Oh man, um... Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my spirit of vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with like 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll stick with the white again. Let's progress that option and see what that gives us at the end of the story. I look forward to it. It would be my honor to spar with the spirit of vengeance. <laughs> wow, he's real excited. Never thought he'd get bouncy, but here we are. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blake to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kind of hard to miss. So he's like, Ghost Rider? Ah, Ghost Rider. Cool. Well, I love a lot of these superheroes, uh, and I know, I won't say a lot of the characters, I know some of the characters, because I know there's a gazillion, gazillion ones. I don't actually know a lot of their backstories. Um, all the variations, because I know sometimes other people take over their mantles and you change post owners or something like that. So forgive me if I'm not that in, I'm, I'm not as knowledgeable about the backstory. I still say we should have built a firing range first. I would like a firing range. Uh, so, okay, sorry. Sparring upgrade abilities, can Back we upgrade? Again. How do we upgrade? Wait, did I get Slash as well? Ah, uh, wait, hold on. Is it because... Huh? Wait, I don't understand the upgrading thing. Wait, let me check something. Give me one second. See you around. So, let me look at my deck. Ah, uh, is it because I stored one Slash? Is that why? So I have an extra one. Okay, so I could do that in theory. Is that how it works? I'm guessing. Um, the upgrade Time ability. To take it to the next level. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yes. So if I were to, let's see, if I were to unequip that, let's go there. I just want to get it right. Or learn the game. Let me unequip this one. Edit deck. What if I unequip this and I equip attack? All right, so then it should give me the ability to upgrade quick slash and not slash. We'll see. Upgrade abilities. Let's do this. Yes, yes, yes. And the upgraded. Wow, okay, the upgraded ability has knockback. Or quick slash. 
What's force wound? I knockback? think we've got something for everyone. Ooh, uh, let's see. F details. Knockback. Show upgrade. Push the target in direction, dealing damage if they pass through or... Okay, so this one is push target in a direction. Oh, double distance and impact damage. Okay, cool, cool. Let's try that. So let me swap that again. Sorry. I'm learning. Making sure I learn properly. Oops, edit deck. And get rid of this one. And this one for now. Oops. I needed to confirm deck. Wait, no, it's fine. I didn't need to confirm. All good. Now let's go upgrade that ability. Ready to work? Okay. Forceful not back. Great. Cool, cool. Now let's do daily sparring. Daily sparring. Every day the hunter can choose a new partner to spar with, resulting in increased friendship and unique rewards every day. Okay. So every day we should be doing this. Choose a hero to instruct in the art of demon hunting. Heroes may only spar with hunter once every four days. So you can only spar with the same one once every four days. A, hey, I'm not a fan of this mask. Maybe there's a new iteration of Ghost Rider. Um, training XP, get 11. Oh, it costs us 11 credits. We've got 104. Gotcha. Hero rewards. Combat bonus for Ghost Rider. What's a combat bonus? Anyway, let's try. Maybe you should be the Okay. Rewards. One training XP. Three friendship. Adaptive combat bonus points. Start the mission with two redraws. Oh. Cool. So there's... I mean, we get four redraws. And that's pretty cool. Hunter, report to the war room. That's it? We've got a mission. Wait, hold on. We don't actually battle? Okay, we don't actually battle. I did Jeez. not know that. I thought we were actually going to battle. Fine. Talk to Captain Marvel. You called for me, Captain? Keep telling ya, Carol works too. But yeah, I did. Now that Tony's finally starting to get a handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city. But we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let's get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. Lost? Well, I updated her on the mission. She said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There is no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. Okay, let's go find her. Do not worry, Captain. I will locate and alert her of the team's needs. There's that can-do, get-it-done, old-timey, prophesied, savior of humanity attitude I was hoping to see today. Still, you better hurry. Not sure how long Hydra will remain in their current position. Then I shall make haste. Yes, you hasten as much as you can, Hunter. Okay. Ileana. I thought her name was Ileana. Um, so... Do I talk to her? There's an exclamation much mark. more I can tell you, Hunter. Though I did hear her mutter something about Wanda right before she poofed away. Maybe that helps. Thanks, Captain. I shall find her. Wanda? Map? Where is she? Oh, okay. We gotta speak to everyone. Gotcha. So we go across. I don't want to get sick. Crazy world you woke up to, Hunter. Hydra running around causing trouble, Apocalypse prophecies, the Bronx. It is indeed, Daywalker. And that op against Faustus, the way Captain Marvel just absorbed that bomb, unbelievable, isn't it? Yes, she's something else. Yes, she is quite the Marvel. I see what you did there, and you're not wrong. Never met a gal who could throw me into the sun before. She is a formidable ally in our struggle against Lilith. Hell yeah, she is. Smart, quick-witted, fearless, hell, she even glows. And do you find all of your allies equally impressive? Yes, no. Wait, wait, what are you trying to say? This is hard for you, isn't it? You are not used to expressing feelings of affection, are you? 
I have no idea what you're talking about. My apologies. And if I did, this ain't my first rodeo, you know? Of course it is not. Whatever a rodeo is. Yeah. Well, now that that's settled, maybe I should go sharpen my stakes or something. And maybe we should keep this uh, chat to ourselves for now. Okay. Um, you know what? I've always wondered, Captain Marvel in Endgame was rather lopsided. Her powers were like so superior. She took down the whole mothership hey, for on her own. Just dug up. You look pretty fresh. Nico, do you know where magic is? We need her. Uh, let me guess. To open another portal? She's getting a little tired of being the only person here who can do that. Can't say I blame her. This is serious, Nico. Where is she? Hmm, not sure. But I know she's been looking for Wanda's grimoire, so maybe check in Wanda's room? Thanks for your help. I wonder if I could have gone straight to Wanda's room. Uh, where is Wanda's room? Barracks. Here? That way? Let me get barracks here somewhere. Alright. So it won't appear on the map. I've got to follow this symbol. Oh, yes, she's here. Hello. This room belonged to the Scarlet Witch, did it not? Wanda. It belongs to Wanda. Let me guess. You are to ask me to do the one thing the others value me for. Opening their precious portal. Well, I am in the middle of something. Come back later. You miss Wanda, don't you? It is never easy to lose a comrade. I know this too well. We did not lose Wanda. We let her go. Before any of this started. Wanda's first grimoire. Agatha gave it to her when she was teaching her witchcraft. The dark arts. She was trying to help Wanda control her powers. She would never let me read it. So now I read it. Uh, again, going with the white option? No good ever comes from a book like that. Trust me. Funny. You sound like Wanda. She was also afraid of her power. I can almost hear her scolding me for invading her privacy. But I've done far worse than to rummage through someone else's things. Far worse. And so have you. I know what she's going through. To come face to face with true evil itself. To be dragged to some hell dimension so hot that your soul is scorched black. Your heart so filled with soot that it chokes out all the bright parts of you. Until you are just a dark thing of smoke and ash. I cannot let such a fate happen to her. Okay, uh, still white. Now, the thing that I'm a bit conflicted with, so the previous one I chose the white option. I don't know, I'm going to call it white and black going forward. And I lost one relationship point, or friendship point. Going forward, I may have to choose black if I want to preserve that friendship, because I think my priority probably is friendship over the black and white path. We will find her. I can feel it. So let's see how we go. Just who will find her? Caretaker? The Avengers? Do not try to fool me with your false empathy, Hunter. I know Caretaker will never waste the resources looking for her. Ileana, just open the portal. You are like an Avenger. All you do is take, take, take. You expect too much. <sighs> okay, I will open your damn portal. It is time such as this that I wish someone else here could drill holes through space and time. Perhaps Doctor Strange should spend less time tinkering with Tony Stark in the Forge and focus more on his magic. Ugh, no matter. I will be there when you are ready, Hunter. Goodbye. She's not happy. Magic, new hero available. Magic is available. Cool. Yeah, she's not happy. I wonder if we should go... We should get her, add her to the team. Because I think when you fight together... You can gain friendship points. You feel I take it you found our gatekeeper. Then let me explain what's going on. 
When Hydra isn't preoccupied with world-ending scenarios, they spend a lot of their free time terrorizing the citizens of New York through various low-level operations. It's fairly routine stuff for heroes these days, and worst case, we'll still get some fresh intel in the process. Why don't you check the mirror table and see what we've got on our plate? Sounds good. Um, let's not forget some of this essence. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Journal. Whose journal is this? Caretaker's journal. We have moved the Abbey from our transient home to Salem. And I must confess, I am astounded at the natural beauty of this place. There is no time for sentiment. We have a job to do. Chiton has found influence here with Hiram Shaw through a page of the Darkhold. The Moon Seal did not bring the witches the protection it should have. Several have been killed already. There is no telling how far this dark power could go. For now, we watch from the safety of the Abbey, hidden away amongst thick woodland. We must understand what is we face. Okay, cool, cool. Um, ooh, bottle of 18 year age root beer. Not bad. Do they have macros here? Nope. McDonald's, I mean. Um, so it's a random comment. I read that I said McDonald's. There was an article a while ago that said this McDonald's somehow still seemed the same after 20 years in a cupboard or something. Anyway, stop Hydra helicopter. So this is a normal quest. Not a story quest, but we can't progress it. Progress story quest, so we gotta go here. Okay, level 3, level 3. We need to have Captain Marvel in there. I am gonna... Ghost Rider earn a combat bonus from sparring with the Hunter. Add him to the squad to earn a powerful boost at the start of the next mission. Let's try that. I did want to... Ooh, no combat items. I did want to try Blade, because we would be a research, but we can do that later, I guess. I wonder if one battle means one day goes past. Probably. Let's go. He looks cool. He really looks cool. The hunter. I could say I look cool, but that's not. It would actually be faster that's embarrassing. So it is the hunter. I wish I could jump. Oh. Hey, what was that? That was space bar. We're sending you straight to the coordinates, Oops. Captain Marvel. Words of power cannot be used now. Ah. That the gamma signatures in the area that was what we, was do we were doing weapon. to go to the trial of the gods, Oster. Osh Oshter? Okay. Disable the Hydra helicopter before it can depart. Target the helicopter with attacks to disable it before time runs out. Time. Where is time? Okay, that's where you disable it. Give all heroes... What? Certain enemies will grant powerful cards when KO'd. Okay. Call an enemy with cursor to see which card they will grant. Ah, cool. So we give you that. Looks like Captain Marvel was right on the. Good. Eighty-four. Turns remaining four. Okay. Is never enough to satiate your appetite for destruction. In KO three. You insist on meddling further, forcing cool, cool. our hand yet again. Oh, that's just lovely. Faustus has a radio. Okay. We can do four redraws. Let's redraw this one. For We're not any heroes them anyway. Darn. What does this do? Chain two life steal. Give all drain cards plus one chain and one heroism cost. Um, I need to redraw this. Not enough heroism. Whip. Okay, I'll take that. I'll probably get one heroism. I will change this. That requires three heroism, so I don't think we'll get that in one turn. And my redraws are not useful. Um, let's try one more. This one. Please, please. Okay, good, good, good. We got knee strike. Okay. We can taunt a couple. Uh, we can taunt him. What card will he give? Delay the helicopter's departure for one turn. Okay, we'll do that. Give all heroes 27 block. Actually, he's pretty good. Let's get the block. I want to KO a few. Uh, any quick? Do we have quick? Okay, that's quick. Let us... Uh, shift? What can we do here? We can... Okay, cool. Let's 
do a quick slash on him first. Okay, we get a card play, refund it. Uh, can we? We can't kill him in time, I'm sure. 17 damage. Actually, we could, potentially. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Two more cards. Seven. It's got 13. Go and get a KO here. Your fate is sealed. Yep. Weak, even and we either. get this. Let's give everyone a block. Okay, cool. You, a hero can never have blo more block than their maximum health. Makes sense. Um. I'm gonna move here. Oh wait, we could do we could even use the pole? Okay, I did not know that. They're not living up to their if we had help, we'd probably even just lift the helicopter and just throw it on people. I mean Captain Marvel could do that. Wait, how come he's not maximum health? As oh that's a lot. They really want to get on my bad side. Reinforcements. They're normally minions, right? Three minions. You don't okay. even know what it is you're pursuing. The gamma disruptor you so narrowly escaped with in our last encounter. Um was only the beginning. create a drop with an increased Show chance to kill enemies for two turns. I will open more than your eyes. Gain your own I'm gonna use this on You truly are your mother's child. Does he get vulnerable? Okay, helicopter can become vulnerable. No, I gain vulnerable. What? Not cool. Um, so we got three. Uh, I'm not very good at this yet. Or ever. Let's redraw this. Okay, one step ahead. Draw cards until you have three in your hand. I only have three card plays. Mm. Oh! How do we do a drop? We have to target our... Hmm? How do I do a drop? What's... How do I do this? Targeting Hunter? What's a drop? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna redraw this. I don't know how to play that one. Yet. Okay. This one doesn't do much. We need more heroism. Let's do this. Yeah. We should delay. Yes, we delay by one turn. We got three turns left. He's targeting the hunter. We can... Okay, let's not do that first. We need all this. We need to use this. So, let's get Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. If we go here... We can hit both of them, right? Yeah. Not a problem. Good. Cool. And then we've only got one left. This one takes one. Can we hit him? 
we can. So let's hit him. Here we go. Cool. And let's KO this guy. Uh, yeah, let's KO him. So that extra redraw the combat bonus from Ghost Rider only lasts one turn. For the mother. That's good to know. Oh, I am vulnerable. Oops. How many reinforcements? Just two. It's not bad. AoE attack? What? Overloaded? What's that? Oh, he's gonna die. Thing we need is for that pompous buffoon to win today. Stop that chopper, please. Okay. With pleasure. Man, I don't want this. Not enough heroism. Wow. Okay, 51 is pretty good. We need two, so let's get rid of this. Not bad. Okay, everything needs heroic. Wow, heroism. I'm in trouble. This one too. Let's just draw. Yeah. It's about time. Okay. Um, we've got three now, so we can do Hell Ride. How much does he have? Fifty. Perfect. Perfect. We can do Hell Ride. Let's do Hell Ride. Can it? Will it hit? Do you reckon? Yes, it will hit. Okay, the, the, the helicopter. The helicopter as well. Perfect. We get rid of the other guy. That's cool. We can stop the helicopter straight away. Wait, did I? I didn't read the description. I get rid of all my cards. Okay. Okay. I don't have any more cards. Um. I kind of need to go here then. Yeah, let's go here. Because he's gonna... He's gonna explode. I think. I should have played the other card first. Or another card. I didn't realize. About to take off, and with it, one remaining. So I even lost the one that would have delayed the helicopter running away by we'll one turn. Our loyal soldiers the what is this, anyway? How do I use this? this oh wait, ah. Mortals, to draw. Stand hmm. I want to try this. We still, we still have turns, so let's try it. What's this? When an enemy is knocked back into a drop, they have a chance to be instantly KO'd. The instant KO chance goes up as the enemy's health is reduced. Heroes and supervillains cannot be knocked into drops. Okay. Oh, okay. So we could knock him in there. Gotcha. Well, there's no point testing him out, because he's going to be... He's a minion, so he'll be straight KO. Let's just finish this. Maybe I'll get two stars? Defeat the remaining ones. Grounded. Now let's get everything back to the Abbey for analysis. Such arrogance. Our brave soldiers will never allow you. Oh, shut up already. Take them down. He's leveled up. Okay, so we just need to finish that dude. Sure, let's just give it a try. Okay, oh. Well done. Seems like that's the last of them. Last? <laughs> there are more heads to the Hydra than you will ever comprehend, heroes. This is a minor setback at most. Well, at least we don't have to listen to you any longer today. I consider that alone a victory. Okay. Well done. Hydra wasn't paying attention before, they are now. Stay sharp. 
What's he doing alone? Rats. What was that? Sabertooth? That looked like Saber too. Yeah, two star. Sad. Not very good at this game. It's still early game though. Back to my rant about Avengers Endgame and Captain Marvel. I wonder how Captain Marvel... Like, does she breathe in space? I just wondered. She could talk in space too. But to talk, don't you need air in your lungs? To produce sound? Anyway. Uh, Hunter Bounce. How come I got dark? Anyway. Uh, mission rewards are tied to hero level. So as the Hunter gains level in combat, the rewards offered on future missions will improve. Okay. Don't worry about leveling every hero. As the Hunter's level increases, any weaker heroes will automatically level up so they don't fall behind. That is great. At higher difficulty levels, all heroes level up faster, granting access to higher rarity rewards sooner. Okay. Can we actually change the difficulty? Uh... Well, we've got a super link. I don't think we can, right? Yeah, it's still locked. Doesn't matter. Let's go to super link. Robbie had something to say. Okay. All good. Uh, Why, hello, Hunter. join a hangout. Feeling a chill, magic? You could say that. I've been staring at the night sky trying to figure it out. Figure what out? You're observant, Hunter. You tell me. Thinking about Wanda. You were trying to figure out how to bring Wanda back. Close, Hunter. But no. Something much more sinister has grabbed my attention. Sinister? When I was holding the transdimensional door for you back there, I sensed something was at the docks with you. Something dark and familiar. What did you see, Ileana? I did not see, I said. I sensed something there. But that's not the only thing I sensed today. Oh? Something has shifted in Limbo. But I cannot quite put my finger on it. All I know is that whatever is happening is also strangely familiar to me. And when all you knew was darkness and despair growing up, that warm, fuzzy feeling of familiarity is not just a warning sign, but an alarm bell. Should we warn the others? We should inform the others of any potential danger. Warn them of what? One of Magic's airy-fairy gut feelings? The Avengers are already unsure of us. I do not need to add to that. Oh. Best not to say anything until I am better able to articulate it. So I'm trying to help. I'd like to be left to my thoughts now, Hunter. Wow. I still have a lot of thinking to do. While I try to make sense of what I felt at the docks and the energetic shifts that ripple through Limbo. I will let you know if I do. She's grumpy. I don't think I'll ever be friends with her. It's always negative. Um, what were our rewards again? Oh, wait. They just teleported me. Okay, let's go to a few heroes are available to hang out with Hunter in the common room. Engage in a hangout to grow the Hunter's friendship with the hero of your choice. Gotcha. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, for someone that so we can. Up, you Either become better friends with Captain Marvel, Robbie, Ghost Rider, aka Ghost Rider, Blade, or Doctor Strange. Doctor Spook. Nothing like taking in the New York skyline. Let's go analyze our gamma coil. I think we got a gamma coil. Am I right? Wait, we can't we track? Okay, we have to do the hangout, I think. I think. Uh map? Okay. Who should we become better friends with? Hmm. Let's try Blade. Hunter. 
Let's play cards. I need to get something off my chest. Go for it. I can't stand vampire movies. Why not? Why do you think? They take vicious killers and present them as tragic and misunderstood. Um. <laughs> like you? I know someone like that. Who? Well, I would say look in a mirror, but I do not know what you would see. Oh no. Only one way I'd be a movie vampire. Oh? If I was there to kill all the other vampires, I would watch that. They could call it Stakeout. Why not just Blade? Yeah, I could take it or leave it. Ah, cool. Oh, I can give him a gift. Friendship okay, reward. Okay, I didn't mind that. Plus five. Okay, so we get a common Abbey outfit and we get rare swimsuit again. Hmm. Nah. Can I go to the forge yet? Library. Is this a library? Wait, that's not the library. That is a library. Ah, okay, I gotta do this. I'm glad to see you're getting comfortable with the words of power, Hunter. If you're going to continue our little investigation of the Abbey, they'll be vital to your success. Investigation? A side project, but a potentially transformative one. With my blessing, Wanda was working to uncover what may be the most powerful. Just what in the hell do you think you're doing in here? Standing in the library? I've given you free reign so you could get back on your feet. But I never thought you'd pull something like this. I... What is it you think I am doing, exactly? Don't be coy. It does not suit you. I told you how hard it's been since we lost Agatha. Instead of letting it rest, you decide to... reopen the wound? Oh, Sarah. I would never... I never thought of this place like that. Of course you didn't. And now, it's done. Why should I ever stand in your way? That anger wasn't meant for you, dear. You know that, right? Don't hold it against Sarah. She may try to mask her feelings, but you know she is struggling with what happened. Why are you hiding from her? For most people, the captivating relationships of their lives are formed over a matter of days and years. Sarah and I spent centuries together exploring this world, fighting the darkness, watching cities and even nations form and then crumble. And yet we persevered together. You still have not answered my question. It may be difficult to understand, but she needs this time. Sending Wanda away, sealing the library, that elaborate memorial she conjured up. She didn't waste any time trying to bury what happened. You are right. I do not understand. It isn't up to me to reveal myself. It's up to her to accept what happened and allow herself to grieve. When that happens, we'll see each other again, but not before. I trust you will do what is right for Sarah. So, what is it you are looking at here? Yes, we should get back to the real reason I asked you to meet me here. Wanda's journal. The Abbey Grounds have a great deal of history. Many of its secrets remain hidden, even after all this time. Even to you? Even to me. Wanda had taken to exploring the grounds in search of a strange energy we both sensed. Knowing that Sarah had no intention of waking you to investigate, Wanda felt it was up to her to take your place. 
Of course, being the clever girl that she is, her notes are written in an ancient, transient cipher that I've only just begun to understand. Have a look at the first entry. Read Wanda's journal. Oop, here's something. Oh no, no, not remove painting, this one. Gloss. I need the keys. More gloss. Read that. The world according to Loki, by Loki, true ruler of the Ten Realms. Someone of my background and skill, skill set must find interesting ways to pass the nearly infinite stretches of boredom. To be blunt, I do seek power in conquest as many have alluded to in the past, but I also seek out my own forms of entertainment. This, I believe, adds the spice of life to many of the so-called heroes' rather dull existence. It is easy, quite easy to do what you are told. Follow orders, stay in line, do not press the weak, blah blah blah. Where is the challenge there? Imagine my dear brother Thor's adolescence without the occasional giant spider manifestation to create chaos and liven things up a bit. Without my contributions, his younger years would have never would have been a never-ending series of training exercises while listening to our father ramble on for all eternity. I like to think that Thor welcomed the occasional serpent attack on the city of Asgard. Moments like those give him a chance to show off and flex those meathead muscles of his. Without me, he would be his own he would be on his own searching out trouble. I merely bring out bring it right to his front door so he can play hero. However, there were times that he was not quite thrilled when I took what I considered to be exciting and unique creative liberties. I do not think he especially liked being turned into a frog. <laughs> or a woman for that matter. We did have fun, didn't we, dear brother? Well, at least I did. That's funny. That one I appreciate. Let me just check out the rest of the room before I open that. I just want to collect all these gloss and whatever. Credits. We need credits for training. Wait, so that was Wednesday when, when we looked at this. It's still Wednesday. New moon. Night. Okay, so it's not a day that's passed yet. Hold on. This is kind of the hour clock. Okay. I need to get a sense of how time passes. Caretaker's Journal. June the 3rd, 1710. My appreciation and adoration for Agatha... Agatha has left me vulnerable to feelings that I have not known for centuries. I want her by my side, and I wish for her to join me for what we'll be facing in the coming years. Though I admit that it may be selfish for me to share these risks. I find myself in the very position I once criticized and judged Lilith for, and it brings me shame. As blood descendants, we were not meant to bring children into this world, or love another as she did, as I love Agatha. Was I wrong to judge Lilith so harshly? Or am I wrong now? It is hard to face. I found myself wanting to be with Agatha just as Lilith felt with Gregor and their child. To have a family, to love, and to be loved by another. Very interesting journal. Whose journal is this? Note. 25% bonus resources from pickups. Okay, we've got Arcane Knowledge. Note from Caretaker, February the 2nd, 1770. Agatha fe spends more time in her cottage these days. I can feel the energies when I visit her there. She's working on something. I could use my word to review her work, I suppose, but to what end? The Abbey is grim and lonely when she's gone. I don't blame her, though. I know I'm... difficult. How long will I carry this? Well, when will these losses become memories? When will they fade with age? Their keen edges dulled. For Agatha, I must move on. My hunter, forgive me. I must bury you deep, or I fear that I will claw down through the damp soil and join you. Interesting. Arcane levels. The hunter has increased the arcane level. Successfully using words of power, exploring the abbey grounds, and even petting Charlie will, in will grant arcane knowledge which can increase the hunter's arcane level. At higher, higher arcane levels, the hunter will gain increasingly powerful rewards from abbey grounds and arcane chests. Okay, can we pet Charlie? Where's Charlie? I'm gonna go pet him. Anyway, let's read more of this. The Hidden Veil of Gods and Man, Volume 1, except from page 78. Known as the Search of Worlds, Arshter broke free of Chiton eons ago, drifting between the stars of for millennium. It is thought that a mere fraction of the Elder God's power could bridge the cosmos. In recent centuries, the Earth's most powerful sorcerers have banded together to form a secret organization known as the Gatekeepers, with each sect believing that power could be harnessed by tracking the Elder God's movements. There's another one here. Observations of the Blood, notes by Damon Hellstrom, 
Our research has led me to believe that the blood have existed for ages, seeking to eliminate the spawn of Shatan and any other malevolent manifestations they deem to be a threat. I will continue to dig deeper into their rather murky history. There is much to explore here in Old Salem. Okay. There's a lot, a lot going on. Uh, do I get anything from inspecting this? Interesting. Okay. Yep. Nope. What about this final read? The world according to Loki, sorry. We already read that. My bad. Okay, so now we can read Wanda's journal. Back at this altar, excerpt from Wanda's journal. I have to restore what I've taken from the altar. The damage I've done can only be reversed when all the elemental rods have been returned. Restore what I've taken from the altar. Elemental I'm sure rods. it still seems a bit cryptic, but Wanda was definitely on to something. If you remember my altar, that's where she was conducting her experiments. An investigation that involves experiments. Why do I feel like you are going to get me into trouble? <laughs> Since when has that ever stopped you? Let's meet out at the altar. I'll try to do a better job of explaining from there. Charlie will show you the way if you've forgotten. Okay. Where are you, Charlie? Before that, can I go play with my... Forge now? Wait, I'm not gonna go there yet. Let me check. I thought we received a reward was a cabin coil. No, nope, still won't let me. Ah. So these keep respawning. These little light thingies. Charlie, can I pet you? Ooh, there's another one. Credits. Where'd you go? Okay, you're here. I think with more training, I don't think I'll be as sick. But... I think maximum one exploration per video. Just don't run too fast, Charlie. Does that mean I have to do this every time? Goddess of Order approves. Oh no, this is the altar. I don't think we were here last time. Wait, can we open this? No arcane keys. Cool Spain? Glowing vessel? Glowing apothecary vessel. Vessel created by witches to honor the innocent. And I stole it. Wonderful. Um, where do I get keys? Anyway, let's not get too distracted and sick. Like most things on the grounds here, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Do you remember the words I taught you as a child? Are you going to make me say it? Humor an old dead woman. <sighs> Hocus Pocus. <laughs> oh, you haven't lost your touch, dear. The words may be simple, but these plinths won't appear for just anyone. Each represents one of the basic elements, their power activated only by the elemental rods they would normally be holding. And where are the elemental rods now? Scattered to the wind, unfortunately. A side effect of Wanda's experiments here. Let me guess. That's right. I want you to find the missing rods and return them here. Hopefully, as I decipher Wanda's journal, her notes will aid in the search. But you have not actually told me what the greater purpose is here. What are we doing this for? All in good time, dear. After what happened with Wanda, I'd rather you take things slowly. In fact, I don't want you overthinking this little project. There's no rush and you don't have to help if you don't feel like it. But there is one more thing before I head back to the library. An arcane key? Just a little something. A token for your efforts so far. The key can be used to open that chest nearby. Like so many other oddities around here, those chests tend to appear before those who deserve them most. Make yourself that person. 
That seems intentionally vague. It's more fun that way, isn't it? I'll be in the library working on the translations if you need me, dear. Good luck. I quite like the interactions. Um, I don't enjoy the endless... Well, I'm starting to not enjoy the endless humor from Tony Stank and Dr. Spooky. But... We keep going. You've collected an arcane key. Arcane key can... Arcane keys can open the arcane chest scattered around the abbey and its grounds. But where do I get more keys? This one was given to me free. Anyway, let's open this. Let's see what the rewards are. Ooh. Arcane chests. Look for arcane chests on the abbey grounds and unlock them, unlock them with arcane keys. Arcane chests reset periodically, so return to previously open chests to see if you can open them again. The higher your arcane level, the more rewards each arcane chest will have. Oh, cool. So Mercury Totem. Combat item. Draw a card with quick. Free. Nice. I like that. Okay. Where do we go now? There's one there. Somewhere. Bloodgate. Where am I? I'm down here. Okay, so I was at the Bloodgate. And then there's one here. There's a purple one here. Hey, we can toggle waypoints. Now, let's see if I find my way back without getting sick. Abbey Grounds. Exploring the Abbey Grounds from this point is, on, is optional. It can be done at any time without regard to the main story. When you're ready, return to your quarters and go to sleep each night to start the next day. Ah, that's right. You can sleep to start the next day. That's right. What is that? We didn't see that before. Did we? I mean, we did come across... Wait. Examine? New Haven discovered the Lazy Brook. We came across this. There are numerous Haven locations on the Abbey Grounds. One discovered, a Haven can be used for a special daytime hangout with a hero where the friendship wards are increased. Each Haven can only be used... can be used only once. Each hero can only attend a single Haven over the course of the game. That's the one we walked into. Okay, so we explored a little too early previously. I'll come back to this in a second. I want to move, progress the story a little bit. Open up all the options of the Abbey. That would be the idea. Can I open this? No, I can't keep. Uh, library is this way, isn't it? Okay, we'll do this last conversation, and then we will stop here for this episode. Something on your mind? Um, who or what are the blood? You said something earlier about the blood. In a world full of mysteries, the blood have managed to remain even more mysterious than most. They were an ancient race, said to be born of the Elder Gods. As I understand it, they were very strict about maintaining their bloodline. That's probably why you don't hear about them very often. And yet, here you are. One of their direct descendants. Are there others? It's quite possible. But even if there are, they might not even know it themselves. Somehow, I take comfort in that. What they do not know cannot hurt them. Indeed. Okay. I'll After our last later. battle, what happened to Lilith? You were in the woods. You and your mother obviously came to blows. But we found no wounds, no evidence of what happened at all. A silent, deathly embrace between mother and child. We had hoped you would both find peace in the next life. But she is not buried here. No. We entrusted her to the Knights of Wondergore, the ancient protectors of your ancestral homeland in Transia. I don't think they ever expected to contend with an organization like Hydra, and I doubt Lilith spared any who survived her reawakening. The altar? What would Wanda want with your altar? What can I say? Some people have a curious, adventurous itch that just has to be scratched. I was one of them, and so was Wanda. Caretaker, not so much. But I see it again in you, Hunter. 
So you encouraged her exploration? Of course. Why wouldn't I? What good is being as powerful as we are if we're just going to spend all our time cooped up within these walls? What's the worst that could happen? Uh, you lose your <laughs> elemental rods. You got me there, dear. What are the moon seals? What do you know about the moon seals? Presumably forged by the gods themselves. I like to think of a moon seal as both a lock and a key. With the right power, wielded by the right person, the energy of the seal is unleashed, creating a conduit to the Elder Gods. And I am that right person. Just another benefit of being descended from the blood. Lucky you, dear. Words of power? Where did the words of power come from? While I often call them blessings or gifts of the old gods, the words of power are actually powerful invocations tuned to the unique energies found in descendants of the blood. And caretaker used the words as well. Of course, dear. Sarah used the words of power on the abbey grounds just as you do today. Many of the areas you encounter that seem receptive to these spells are actually the result of Sarah's frequent undertakings. Okay, cool. Um, so what's our objective? That's pretty much it. Uh, okay, I think we just sleep. And we go to the next day. Can we use the forge yet? Before I sleep and then we end the episode? Let's see. No, won't let me use it. Okay, well, let's go to sleep. Oh, we can run, that's right. No, we can't run inside. We can run outside. Let's sleep. I think he'll have vivid dreams again of the past, maybe. Oh, wait, I can control them in their stream. Can that really be you? Oh, wait, you look so much better this way. Come. After all these years, it is good to see your face again. Wish I could say the same, Mother. Now enough with this deception and reveal your true form. But this is my true form. The way I was when you were just a sweet, helpless little baby. You don't remember that, do you? Well, I do. Bringing you into the world was the happiest time in my life. And taking you out of this world again will be mine. I had thought the words of power would open your eyes. But I should have known my sister and her pet witch would continue to withhold the truth from you. What truth? And what truth is that? The truth they are keeping from you. You need only. Wait! Mother! Where did you... Time to wake up. Or not. My mistake. Oh yes, time to wake up. Wow. That's that a lot. Really her? New post, new post, new post. Let's check that out first. So I don't forget. Um super link. Astounding Spider Man. Okay. Unknown hero. I think this just means there's more stuff to do. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, uh, as I promised, that is it for this episode. And I'll catch you next time. Until then, take care. Have a great day. Bye.